Hey, how's it going on? So in this video, we're going to be designing just a very simple section, but you're going to learn about the grids as the only way to understand about the grids, not only in just materialize, but also in the bootstrap and other such library is to do it. So we're going to be doing it. And by doing, we are going to learn how grid actually works in the materialize. So let's get started with that. So just below here, I want a section which is going to be divided into two parts. The left section is going to be having some of the text, again, a random lorem ipsum text, as well as on the right side, we'll be pulling up an image. So there we go. That's the plan as of now. Let's go up here. Just below the slider section, we are going to be creating a favorite section for a description. So describe is good enough. So there we go. Now inside this description section, first and foremost, I'll create a division which is going to have a class of section as well as a class of white to keep the background white as well as the center. So there we go. These are the classes we are addressing and pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Then inside that, I would first and foremost would like to create an H2 and this H2 will have a class of header as well so that it looks a bit bold. And let's go ahead and say Cafe King. And we are going to say Ultimate Quality Coffee. Sounds good. Okay. Just after that, I want to further create another division. So just below the H2, I would like to create a div. So let's go for a div, which is going to have a row. Now, whenever we create any columns, remember columns are divided, but first we create a row. So we're going to be saying this is going to be my row. I also don't want this row to go entirely full into the page. I want to shrink it a little bit. And for that, the class that is given to us is going to be container. And I want to keep everything at center. So center. There we go. So these are all the things that we need. Now inside the row, always and always are going to come the columns. So how do I create a column? Remember, first and foremost, let's go ahead and create a simple column. And I would also like to give these columns uh, a center property. So I'm going to say dot center. There we go. Now, all the classes of these columns are going to have some of the property which is going to look like this L8. What does that mean? L means the larger screen size, there is a smaller screen size and a couple of others that they talk about. And you can mention that how this row is going to behave based on what size somebody is opening up your web page. For example, if it is a larger screen, I want that this particular div is going to take eight of out of the 12 columns that we have present here. I'm going to duplicate it, this one here because if I mention that this larger screen is going to take eight, so how many are remaining out of the 12? Of course, four. So one div is going to cover up the eighth part out of the 12. The rest one is going to cover the fourth part out of the 12. Pretty easy, pretty simple to understand. But on the smaller screen size, I want this one to take entire 12 columns and this one also to take entire 12 columns so that everything comes up on its right place. And when I scroll it from top to bottom, this one takes the entire full width. This one also takes the entire full width. So pretty easy to do and pretty easy to understand in this way. Okay. Now, not only this, you can create multiple columns, but make sure you divide them accordingly or however you need them. First and foremost, what we're going to do is we are going to go into this bottom part and we are going to insert an image here. Let's go ahead and say that I'm going to have an image. Image is going to be coming up from images and I would like to have a specific image here, which is coffee.png. I would also like to provide some of the properties just right here. We can do it inside the CSS, but it's actually super easy to do it here. I'm going to say that your height is going to be equal to 200. So 200 is going to be the height. The width is going to be auto. So width is going to be auto. There we go. Save that and looks great. Now, I would also like to specify a couple of styling property just right here. I don't want to open up my CSS file, so I'll just grab them just right here. So the style, I'm going to be simply saying that there is an object fit here and I'm going to just mention the contain property so that it doesn't fill outside of that. So there we go. That's all I need. I'm going to hit a save here and this should do the job. So come on, you should be doing that automatically. <laughs> you are a live reload. So there we go. This is our image that comes up automatically. And now what I want to do is I want to have uh, some of the text on the left side of it. Remember? This is the div that is responsible for the right hand side or the smaller one, which is L4. And here I would like to just insert some of the text here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and say I want 200 words of lorem ipsum. I'm gonna save that and I know that's a really, really big, big text here. But again, if you are using Emmet or VS Code, you can just say lorem and then the word count and hit the tab and it's gonna generate 10 words of lorem ipsum for you. See that? That's how I did it and that's how I generated. So if you want 200 words or 300 words, however you like, you can just grab it. And there we go, probably 200 was too big. I'm gonna go for 100 this time. So let's go ahead and have a couple of Z's and I think 100 is actually good enough. And come on, not that. Lorem 100. Save that, let's see how does that look. It's okay, not bad, not bad. And we can do a little bit of the stylings on these ones as well to make sure that this image actually moves up or there is a space a little bit at the top side of it. We can do all of that. And we will be doing that, I think, in the next video. Right now, this is all good enough. In the next video, we'll be fixing up some of the styling of this as well as we will be creating a card section just below that, which is also gonna be pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to next video.